like Rick Tom and Shane at the beach. And I reckon I know what happened to Harold Holt. Harold Holt was Prime Minister of Australia in the early 1970s. He was a keen free diver and spear fisherman. His status gave him access to the then restricted Cheviot Beach at the tip of the Mornington Peninsula in Victoria. But one summer's day, he disappeared after entering the water. He was never seen again. It was generally held he drowned while diving. There were all sorts of conspiracy theories involving all sorts of shady oil interests and maybe even Chinese submarines. But I've dived this coast a bit and I reckon I know what most likely happened. Cheviot Beach is a pretty rugged bit of coastline. But on the right day, with the right tides and uh, low swell, it can look quite beautiful, especially close to shore. However, powerful swells can come through and they can really belt in along this coast. When the tide rises, the rock platforms become submerged and the waves break over the top. The water that breaks over those platforms has got to go somewhere. It goes into those gullies and finds its way back out to the ocean. What were nice, comfortable, calm little channels with clear water in them suddenly become raceways. Strong rip currents pull the water back out to the sea at high speed. If you're in that circumstance, the rip currents pull you out through the waves and you're stuck out offshore. The only alternative you've got is to try and swim in back over the rock platforms, but the waves are smashing on them. The rock platforms are nasty, jagged rocks. You try to swim over them when the waves are smashing on them, and it's very likely that you'll be knocked out. Then it's just a couple of lungfuls of water, and the current takes your body away, never to be found again. A similar thing nearly happened to me a couple of kilometres down the coast, but I was lucky enough to get out. But I, did, I still had a few cuts on the hand. I was mildly bruised, shaken, but I was a hell of a lot wiser. This can be a very dangerous coast and the conditions can change very quickly. Nobody really knows what happened, except perhaps for Harold Holt and he's dead. But I reckon there's a good chance he was caught in a rip between those reefs, washed out, opted to try and come through the white water, got belted on the rocks, knocked out, and that was the end of him. The lesson is, try and understand what the water's doing, and before you go in for a dive, plan your exits and your entry points.